Hello everybody. Welcome to our Easter Day service. A moment of silence. Let's have our first hymn. Let us pray. This is the day when our Lord Jesus Christ passed from death to life. Throughout the world, Christians celebrate the awesome power of God as we hear his word and proclaim all that God has done. We can be confident that we shall share his victory over death and live with him forever. May the light of Christ, rising in glory, banish all darkness from our hearts and mind. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. 
He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed for us. Let us therefore rejoice by putting away all malice and evil and confessing our sins with a sincere and true heart. Jesus Christ, risen Master and triumphant Lord, we come to you in sorrow of our sins and confess to you our weakness and unbelief. We have lived by our own strength and not by the power of your resurrection. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. We have lived by the light of our own eyes as faithless and not believing. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. We have lived for this world alone and doubted our home in heaven. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. We say the Gloria together. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray the collect for today. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him, grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and forever. Amen. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Mark chapter 16, reading from verses 1. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go and tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, and terror and amazement had seized them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us pray. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you for your mighty resurrection. I thank you for this another opportunity to speak to your precious sheep. I pray that as I speak, revelation knowledge will flow freely, unhindered and uninterrupted by any satanic or demonic force. I pray that you will think through my mind and speak through my vocal cords. None of me and all of you, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The resurrection is the ground of our assurance. It is the basis of all our future hopes and the source of power in our daily lives. The resurrection gives us courage in the midst of persecution, comfort in the midst of trials, and hope in the midst of this world's darkness. The resurrection is the most essential truth for Satan to attack. But even atheist scientists have concluded just from the laws of physics and mathematics that all life is destined for a resurrection. The entire book of Acts speak on the resurrection of Jesus Christ. If you want to learn more about the subject of resurrection, please may I encourage you to read 1 Corinthians chapter 15. It is the most informative and critical chapter in the Bible about the subject of resurrection. The resurrection of Jesus is one of the central truths of the Gospels. It is the good news of forgiveness and eternal life through Christ. Without the resurrection, Christ's followers will have no hope and their faith in God and testimony about Christ will be useless. The resurrection should motivate us to get saved, to serve the Lord, and to live a sanctified and holy life. If you have never been saved, here is what you need to look forward to. When you die, you will stand before God, and if you die without Jesus Christ, you are going into torment. Absent from the body is present with the Lord, for those who are saved. But if you die without Jesus Christ in your life, you will stand before God and give an account of your life. The reason why people don't want to believe in the resurrection is because they don't want to look forward to the day of accountability before God when they will give an account of their life. The Bible says that every single one of us will stand before God Almighty and give an account of our deeds in our body, whether good or bad. The very idea of the resurrection experience ought to motivate you, my friends, to give your life to Jesus Christ. Because if you are saved, on the last day, you are going to be resurrected into eternal life. But if you are not saved, you are going to be resurrected judged and condemned into hell forever. You may be saying, hang on a minute, God wouldn't do that. Yes, of course, God will not do that. You are doing it to yourself. God is not condemning you. Sin condemns you. Sin destroys you. You condemn yourself when you choose to disobey God by not accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. God is not going to wipe you into hell messlessly. In his loving care, he is always laying down one stumbling block after another to keep you out of eternal destruction. But you don't pay attention. Rather, you reject the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. The resurrection should motivate us to serve the Lord. If they hear and serve the Lord, they will end their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. 
There are two things that serving God does for us. It means we end our days in prosperity and our later years in pleasures. You shall serve the Lord your God and he will bless your bread and your water and he will remove sickness from among your mates. When we serve the Lord with all our hearts and all that we have, he blesses us and he removes sickness from our midst. He removes sickness from our lives. He removes sickness from our families. If Christ did not raise from the dead, if there is no resurrection of the dead, what on earth am I doing here as your vicar? What on earth am I doing serving the people of South End, serving the people of Eastwood, because we serve a living God. Our Lord lives and reigns. Our Lord Jesus Christ is alive. He has risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, throughout this pandemic, throughout this lockdown, the only thing that has kept me going, serving the Lord with joy and happiness, and with a smile on my face is that I know that there is life beyond this one. I know that there is going to be a reward. I know that the Lord Jesus Christ, who is living in me, is going to raise me up on the last day and to live with him for eternity. The resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ should motivate us to live a sanctified life. Let me explain what I mean by sanctification. To be sanctified means to be set apart unto God and for God. It is the same word for holiness. I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Friends, the act of giving your life to Christ, the act of believing in Jesus Christ, means that you die with him and you are raised to glory to live with him forever. This means that you are not your own. You have been bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body. You no longer belong to yourself but you belong to Christ. Friends, on this Easter Sunday, may the resurrection of Jesus Christ encourage us and motivate us to get saved, to give our life afresh to the Lord Jesus Christ, to serve the Lord and to live a sanctified and a holy life, to ask God to help us daily to live a holy life. And for those of you who are not Christians, may I use this opportunity to invite you to give yourself to God, to give your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Say this short prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth that you are Lord Jesus Christ, and I believe in my heart that God raised you from the dead. Help me and save me from the enemy. Write my name in the book of life in heaven. Help me to live daily for you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Friends, if you said that prayer with me, you are now a Christian. You have been accepted by God. Christ lives in your heart. Find a church close to your house and start going to that church. Introduce yourself to the clergy there and they will help you grow and develop. If you live in the area of Eastwood and South End, of course, pick up the phone and ring me or when the lockdown is over, come to this church and we will help you here on your new journey. We will help you develop and grow as a Christian, and God will bless you. Amen. 
Let's respond to the sermon by saying the creed. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, we pray for those in government who have responsibility for making decisions at this time of global crisis. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayers for those in hospitals who have responsibilities for the lives of others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers for those overwhelmed by the darkness of serious illness, those who fear that life itself is fading away. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We pray for those struggling with loneliness and isolation, we pray for those who need support and encouragement, that you will comfort their hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. For those who feel that God has abandoned them and that God is far from them. Almighty God, we pray that you reveal yourself to them and be present in their lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We pray for those who live and work in our parish, we pray for businesses in our parish. We pray for all parishness, that your blessing may be upon all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. For those who are tempted to give up the way of the cross in the face of challenges and adversity, Almighty God, strengthen their hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We pray for the ministry of this church. We thank you that over a thousand years, community of worshipers have been meeting here and praying to you. We pray for our Sunday services. We pray for our Tuesday sermons. And we pray for our midweek services. We pray for the clergy here, that you will bind them in unity as they seek to proclaim your good news in this part of the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We bring before you your universal church. We pray for the church worldwide. We pray for the Church of England. We pray for our bishops, archdeacons, priests and deacons, that you pour out your blessing upon us as we minister in these challenging times. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayers. We pray for all who are bereaved. We pray for all those who are mourning the loss of their loved ones. We pray that you will strengthen their hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We pray for the sick and the dying. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We pray that we, with those who have died in the faith of Christ, may find mercy in the day of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Surrounded with all the prayers of the saints, 
We commend the whole human family into your loving care. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then they were glad when they saw the Lord. Hallelujah. May the peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Let us offer one another the sign of peace by waving to each other. <laughs> Let's have our next hymn as I prepare the table for communion. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Blessed are you, Lord God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. From the beginning you have created all things, and all your works echo the silent music of your praise. In the fullness of time, you made us in your image, the crown of all creation. You gave us breath and speech, that with angels and archangels and with all the powers of heaven, we may find a voice to sing your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. How wonderful the works of your hands, O Lord, as a mother tenderly gathers her children. You embrace the people as your own. When they turn away and rebel, your love remains steadfast. From them you raise up Jesus our Savior, born of Mary to be the living bread, in whom all our hungers are satisfied. He offered his life for sinners, and with a love stronger than death, he opened wide his arms on the cross. On the night before he died, 
he came to supper with his friends. Taking bread, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Dying, you destroy our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Father, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. We remember his dying and rising in glory. And we rejoice that he intercede for us at your right hand. Pour out your Holy Spirit as we bring before you these gifts of your creation. May they be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in your presence, form us in the likeness of Christ and build us into a living temple to your glory and bring us at last with all your saints to the vision of that eternal splendor for which you have created us through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, with whom, and in whom, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Almighty Father, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's presence with us, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah! Friends, Holy Communion is ready. I'm going to take communion on behalf of all who are with us today online. While I do that, there will be music being played in the background. Please use this time in reflective prayer.
Let's say the prayer after communion together. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still afar off, you met us in your son and brought us home. Dying and living, you declared your love and gave us grace and opened the gates of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us so that we and all your children shall be free and the whole earth live to praise your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Friends, we've come to the end of our Easter Sunday service. Just before the blessing and the final hymn, may I take this opportunity to thank the flower arrangers. Uh, they have done beautifully well in this church, uh, dressing the church, uh, uh, enabling us to have our Easter Sunday service in this uh, glorious setting. So thank you uh, to the flower arrangers. Notices. As I said last week, Sunday, this church will be open on the 25th of April, the last Sunday in April. We will be open for our normal services, 9 a.m. service and 10.30 a.m. services. We will still have to go through the booking system because we are still following the government guidelines on social distancing. As always, when we start our services online, both on YouTube and on Facebook, please share the link with your friends among your contacts and your family so they too can take advantage and benefit from the services we offer here. The blessing. May Christ, who out of defeat, brings new hope and a new future, fill you with his new life. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Let's have our final hymn. Through 
Hallelujah.